In programming languages, regex is a special string of characters used to describe a search pattern, helping to find or check character strings in a text, most commonly used in form validation problems. But you know what? In CSS, we also have a feature called regex. Consider the following example. Products on the website often do not only use a single class, but also contain many different classes used to supplement special states. For example, if this is a new product, we usually have to add a class new to market. However, this new product may also be one of the best selling products. And finally, because it sells so well, it may be temporarily out of stock. So in this case, I had to create up to four classes to fully describe the states of a product. But with regex CSS, we will only need one class. If you find it interesting, please like and subscribe to the channel to follow many interesting videos about programming and web design. Thank you, everyone. To be able to merge all the states together, of course, the class name cannot be just card. So when you want to point to these elements, you will need to declare the caret here. This sentence means find divs whose class starts with the word card. Now, no matter what the class name is, as long as it starts with card, the browser still understands it as the original card item. This means that my class can now be longer. For example, to mark a new product, instead of having to create two separate classes, including class card and class new, I just need to create a single class card new. In CSS, I now just write find div elements that start with the word card. And in the class name, there is the word new anywhere. When I find it, I just add a new icon to that product image. If the carrot will check and compare the first words in the class name, the asterisk is simpler. It will compare and contrast with the characters regardless of the position. Similarly, if I want to mark a product as a bestseller, I just use a class called card seller. In CSS, I would do the same thing, using the asterisk character to search for the word seller. If I find it, I would change the main background color to emphasize that this is a bestseller. Now, see the magic? I'm going to create a new class without writing CSS. I'm going to create a class called card new seller. And instantly, the new effect and the seller effect are both active on this third product. Similarly, I would be able to mark a product as out of stock if the class name has the word out. The CSS side then looks for a class that starts with the word card and has the word out in the name. At this point, I just use the filter and opacity properties to emphasize to the user that it is out of stock. So now I can create a new class with properties. It's a new product and it's selling very well. And it's finally out of stock. In projects, sometimes in some campaigns, there will be products that you want to display first. I will mark it with the card prioritize class. When a class starts with the word card and its name contains the word prioritize, I use the order property with the value minus one to bring it to the top. Note that this order property will work with flex CSS. So we've moved this item to the top of the list. In case you want to specify that prioritize should always be at the end, replace the asterisk with a dollar sign. Now you can create a new state and prioritize it to the first position with the class name new prioritize. But if prioritize is not the last character, the prioritize state will not work. Because when using the dollar sign, we force prioritize to be placed at the end. So what if we assume a case, a product is being prioritized but is out of stock? Then whether we still prioritize it to show at the top or not, it will depend on the campaign plan. But if, for example, the answer is no, on the CSS side, when looking for prioritize, combine it with the not tool to exclude cases where the class name has the word out so that you can ignore out of stock product. Now let's try again. By default, product six is at the top of the list because it has a class called card prioritize. But if I rename it to card out prioritize, that means this prioritize product is out of stock it will no longer be prioritized to the first position. Interesting, right? Using regex and CSS, by checking each character, I can create countless different classes. We just need to remember that. The cap character in regex will help us find and compare with the first words. The asterisk will find and compare with any word regardless of position. And finally, the dollar sign will force that character to be the last word in the name.
If you find these shares interesting, please like and subscribe so I can accompany you, share with you more interesting knowledge about web design and programming. With my own ideas and designs, I only share what you cannot find elsewhere. I hope it will be interesting and useful to everyone. If you have any questions and wish for any topic to appear in the following videos, do not hesitate to leave a comment, because that is also one of the ways new videos on our channel are published. Finally, thank you and see you in the next video.